in this video i'll tell you uh, the best grade of glycerin to use when formulating your skincare products and how to use it glycerin like i said before it's um, a clear and colorless odorless uh, liquid it can be used on shampoo cos other cosmetic products even household products okay it is soluble in both water and alcohol okay it's very versatile in there you know this can be used to manufacture a whole lot of different skincare products you know it's one of the most popular you know cosmetic additives in the cosmetic industry so now there are different grades of glycerin so the reason why i brought this video to you is that most of my st uh, new students do not know the difference between the different grades of glycerin so the the best grade to use from experience is to use the usp one use the usp one especially the 99 points uh, seven percent us it's very very stable i mean very very stable when formulating cosmetics is very very deep. the only reason why you should use the other one uh which is uh you can use the organic one is when you are formulating organic skincare products all right but when you are making general skincare product use the usp 99.7 percent it's more you know uh more of cosmetic standard grade okay so keep that in mind and uh, a lot of people do use uh, glycerin hats 30 percent that is very wrong i mean a lot of people do use it and glycerin is comedogenic the comedogenic rating of glycerin is high so if you're making sensitive uh, skin a product for sensitive skin you don't want to use it too much i mean i limit it to five percent okay i limit it to five percent when making my skincare uh, product okay so keep that in mind want to buy your next glycerin give 90 usp 99.7 percent grade a try and you'll fall in love with it basically we add it to the uh, water phase of our formulation okay even though it's post soluble in water and alcohol we do not use alcohol a lot when formulating skincare product right the only time we use alcohol is to sterilize our i mean we are used for uh, rubbing alcohol to propyl alcohol is to sterilize our uh, tools and equipment but when formulating skincare product uh, with uh, glycerin add it to the water face of your formulation and uh, keep in mind glycerin is not a preservative glycerin is not a preservative so do not use it as a preservative a lot of people get this wrong no even though it has great preservative uh, ability you don't want to use glycerin only as a preservative like some DIY gurus do say do not use glycerin as a preservative it does not have the power to preserve your product solely okay no and it doesn't really help to boost the power efficacy of your preservative even though some people say it has the preservating ability i've worked with glycerin some time alone and i've seen mold yeast and bacteria grow grow on my product so i know it this can never especially when you have water in you don't want to use this as your preservative okay in any way just make sure you use it as off the five percent in your formulation if you don't want uh your skincare product to break people out be careful the amounts of amount you use because it's highly comedogenic so you do not want to use it too much i limit it to five percent i know some people will say like oh you need it you need it. sometimes when you're making f uh product for the for your body not the face you can increase it a little bit but i still limit it to five percent because i know this product is highly comedogenic. I don't. It, it's have the tendency to to cause acne breakout, to break people out. So I always limit it to five percent. I don't do it more than that. Even though it's a very good emectant, it's very popular. It uh, has long history. Um, don't let, make sure you limit it. Also, you can use glycerin um, <coughs> to make herbal extract okay it's a more cost effective way to make about extra glycerite okay then proper proper needle one comma three because it's cheaper and it's readily available so you can also use it okay to make herbal extract i will 
create a video on that uh, in the coming days and how to use glycerin to make herbal extract and tincture at or at home. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any question about using glycerin to make great and stable skincare products, leave that comment in the comment box below. If you want to improve your knowledge, um, your formulation knowledge, okay, head over to naturalskincareschool.com and see the exciting project that we have going on there. And also click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. On this channel, I teach upcoming formulators, established from even Goro formulator, how to, you know, use the ingredient properly and how to make different types of skincare products. So you want to click that subscribe button and the notification icon so as to be the first to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching.